Hello. In this video, I'm just going to review a solution that I have here. This was a question brought forward by a student. Good question. And what the question was, was that they could work through the problem and they could solve it. However, they only got one of the two answers. And in fact, why was there two answers? So the key to this problem is, is that this is actually an ambiguous case. It's, it's a case where you're given an angle side side. So it's an angle side side situation. Notice if I look here at my first diagram, which we can call case one, we'll call the second diagram case two, the situation is such that I have angle B of 30 degrees, a length of A of 20, and a length of B of 15. So one way to visualize this is if you imagine just a horizontal line that's straight across this page, this 30 degrees will be fixed and we can measure out 20 units. And imagine this, this length B on a pivot here at angle C. It can actually swing. Well, we can measure 15 units to touch the line at this point A1, but I could also swing this in around, and I could end up with this diagram here. So notice the two different triangles here. So these are your two possible cases. So the question becomes, how do we account for both of them? So let's start with case one. So I notice right away that I'm given an angle and a pairing side, so I'm going to apply sine law. Sine A1 over 20, sine 30 degrees over 15. I do a little math and I end up with A is approximately 41.81 degrees. Now you might have noticed I'm calling this first case A1C1 and the second case A2C2. That's just for organization. And now that I have A1, I can calculate C1 simply by using the property that the sum of the angles is 180 degrees. And then I now have enough information to find the area of this triangle. There's lots of different ways you can do this. Something that's worth looking into is formulas to find the area of a triangle. There's lots of really interesting ones out there. But there's one that I like which can be used in a side angle side situation. So since I have length A angle C1 and length B, I can use this form. And that is A times B over 2 sine C. So I do a substitution and I get 142.5. And I believe the units were meters. So we should put here meters squared. Perfect. So the next question is, well, how do I get the second case? And a longer explanation is, is, is really important here. It's important to understand why we do this. But the rule that we apply in this case, just in case you're not, you don't know this, is that to get the second case, we take 180 degrees and subtract our first angle from it. There's a number of ways you can justify this to yourself, and I do recommend you look into it. I have some videos on here that do talk about this idea. So now that I have this new A2, that means I have to recalculate angle C2. And once I've recalculated angle C2, I can then go through the same process to calculate my area, and I'll get the second answer. So again, this is a really interesting case because it's an angle side side situation, meaning that there's a possibility of having more than one triangle constructed with the given information. I hope this video helped.